Yo! Sanjay Uchiha here, people. Fresh off Naruto Shippuden episode 478. So, uh, I kinda apologize from now if my background's a bit noisy or anything like that. But yeah, getting into it. Um, so coming off the epicness of the one hour special, episodes 476 and 477, I must say my general impressions on this episode are, they're favorable, they're, they're good. I mean, obviously it, <laughs> after the fight, things are gonna ease down, and they did. But more so than that, this episode really delved into resolving Sasuke's, I guess you could say, his internal his internal conflicts and I guess coming full circle where his character is concerned in uh, a more than decent way, fair, um, funny enough because the thing is with this with, um, the series of Naruto and the commu Naruto community does make fun of it is that Naruto has a tendency to really talk his villains out of <laughs> out of things and hence the term talk no jutsu but in this instance where Sasuke is concerned it felt more of you know Sasuke reflecting on everything and just the efforts that Naruto put in so it, it was kind of like more so Naruto's actions um I guess was a spark to, for Sasuke's character to come full circle but yeah so we compared to the manga two years ago we get some extra scenes at the beginning where they, I guess, <laughs> the staff over there at Studio Period and the directors, they, they were trying to drive the point, or at least trying to convince the viewers that probably Naruto and Sasuke had died or were in some state of limbo. Um, I mean, it was a fine touch, a fine addition, and even though it was good, um, it, it does reduce the pacing where adapting the source material is concerned because obviously they are stretching this out as long as um, they they want to and based on the episode the episode's titles that are coming up we're not gonna get the last two chapters um, adapted just yet probably bits and pieces but they're, they're stretching this out but yeah the addition of well they weren't flashbacks they basically just had Naruto and Sasuke kind of like in a state of limbo and wondering if they had died and it was more so Sasuke making comparisons from his past with Naruto to drive you know drive the symbolism and the the bond they share they're just driving the point of that home really in the sense that yes they were both essentially outcasts from the village in one way or another and in that sense Sasuke was agreeing yes probably Naruto could call him a brother from that sense but then we eventually we do eventually get to the point where in in, in the real world since obviously they're still alive that Sasuke he ponders why Naruto goes so far for, for him and Naruto continues to reiterate that yes it's just because he's his friend and Sasuke wonders like what does that really mean? And in line with Naruto's character, he doesn't really know how to explain it, but he just says, you know, anytime he sees Sasuke going about doing what or putting himself through some kind of, I guess, trauma, yes, it does cause Naruto, quote unquote, causes Naruto to hurt essentially. And the pain that Naruto feels essentially, that Sasuke, well, Naruto just can't leave it alone. And I guess it's an okay explanation for why Naruto has been so obsessed with Sasuke over the years and won't stop until he saved him from his quote unquote internal darkness. Um, but one thing that should be noted that when it does go back to this scene in the real world, the animation surprisingly takes a massive jump up. It was it was decent before, but this felt like more movie quality animation right there and that was definitely a plus in my book for the episode um naruto's statement about um trying to explain what it means to be a friend to sasuke it does spark the internal monologue that i mentioned earlier and it really is 
Sasuke explaining, I, I guess it does explain, um, I guess the psychology of our, our mental, how should I put it? It really does um, delve into, I mean, why Sasuke act, acted the way he acted over the course of the series, essentially. From him being on Team 7, acting the way he did, um, but yet, from time to time, you would see Sasuke um, mention something which showed genuine concern about his comrades, essentially. Um, one instance of this was, I believe, when they were up against Killer B, and when you thought everybody was gonna die, Sasuke had a moment that he was saying he doesn't want to see anyone of any of his comrades die again, essentially. So, the thing is, Sasuke. He would want to try and make bonds with people, but at the same time, it does come into conflict with, well, to him at least, it, he sees it as a weakness, and it really comes to conflict with what he wants to accomplish. So, <sighs> I guess over the years, he's tried to push away Naruto and try to get rid of that life, essentially. But, it's definitely... Sasuke's character being resolved in a, I guess, a mature and sound way. It's not really any Naruto bullshit talking, talking out of it. But, um, we do continuously get the, that movie quality animation as we go throughout the episode. And it, as I keep reiterating, it's really just Sasuke. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, Sasuke coming full circle with his character. He does go on to mention that, yes, he was jealous of Naruto. He did see Team 7 as his family. But at the same time, he does see that as a weakness. But he does admit that, you know, he he, he lost. He admits that. But Naruto goes on to say, you know, it's not a battle about... It, this isn't about winning or losing. Um, Sasuke suggests that, you know, probably this is it for him and then him dying would end the whole cycle of hatred that's been going on for God knows how long throughout the series. He, Naruto says he should stay and live because he wants to help him achieve, I guess, quote unquote, achieve peace. Well, in Naruto's case, get Al Shinobi to, you know, coordinate and live together in harmony. Sasuke feels it may not go that way, but Naruto just keeps reiterating that he should stop, stop, just stop complaining, really. And eventually, all of the, all of Naruto's efforts, seeing how far Naruto goes for him, it really touched Sasuke, honestly. And some of his brother's words really do drive, drive I guess it drives home the fact that Sasuke. I, the thing is, Sasuke used Itachi's life as an example to come to his latest um, scheme of trying to, you know, become a Okage who wants to do things alone. But Itachi's words at the end here through a flashback really drive the point home that Itachi's mistake, even though it was great, was that he tried to do stuff alone. So it's a little icing on the cake there. Um, all in all, it felt like. It almost felt like the end of the series, the anime, where the anime is concerned, even though it's not the way they ended it. But Sasuke eventually decides to live, changes his mind, and he had already acknowledged Naruto before, but it was like a Naruto finally saving his friend, his brother, essentially. So, all in all, it was a good episode. Sasuke's character came full circle. If you haven't watched the episode, or if you even didn't like how I presented this review, I don't know, check the episode out for yourself. Kind of just my impressions here, essentially. But, let me know what you think. We seem to be in for some, I guess, more filler, unfortunately, I think. But we'll see how that goes. I'll probably review those. But, if you like this review, tell me what you think. Share, rate, subscribe. Meh. <laughs> see you in the next one. Sanjay Uchiha out.